Sportsbit is powered by Bet Online, driving the opening odds market since 2001. Visit sportsbookreview.com to learn more about Bet Online and its A plus rated platform in the link below. Big game breakdown continues here on Sportsbit. Betting insight today from sbrpicks.com. And let's go to the Big Ten Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. We have the Ohio State Buckeyes minus six and a half, total of 52 against the Wisconsin Badgers. Win and Wisconsin's in. If Ohio State wins, it's a maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's just that simple. Now, this has been a very one sided series in the Urban Meyer era. Ohio State 4 0 straight up, 2 1 and I'll call it 2 1 and 1 against the spread. They only had one spread loss against the Badgers in the Urban Meyer era. And that, of course, includes a 59 to nothing wipeout in the 2004, a 2014 Big Ten championship game. So now it's a Wisconsin team that, hey, they want to slow the game down against Ohio State. They cannot match the Buckeyes' speed. But oops, now they're playing on the fast turf uh, at Lucas Oil Stadium uh, as opposed to uh, a slower turf elsewhere. That's a disadvantage for Wisconsin, most assuredly. And the betting market's aware of that. That's why we've seen at least some Ohio State money early in the week. Now everyone's going to talk about JT Barrett, how good JT Barrett's been, and all the big game experience. For JT Barrett. JT Barrett's played in a grand total of two bowl games in his career. One of them, Ohio State got shut out against Clemson in the playoffs last year. This is his first Big Ten championship game. Barrett in a big game last week, ineffective, completely ineffective, benched at Michigan, three for eight for 30 yards. The offense showed some spark with Dwayne Haskins at quarterback against Michigan. I wonder if we see Haskins at QB in this game at some point. Wouldn't be surprised. If Barrett struggles, but of course it's in a, a, and if Barrett struggles, it's going to be difficult for Ohio State to cover the number, and it's going to be an interesting decision for Urban Meyer what to do in terms of the Barrett asking situation. But you're going to read in the mainstream media, Barrett, big game quarterback. The results show otherwise, and of course this is a Ohio State team one and four against the spread the last five, and the one they covered, big national TV blowout win over Sparty. They've been overvalued ever since. Uh, ever since we look at Ohio State on the road, away from home this year, they covered at Indiana, Rutgers, and Nebraska. They did not cover and didn't really sniff a cover against Michigan or Iowa, the two step-up games they played away from home. But you talk about that type of road schedule. What have the Badgers done away from home? This is about as weak as it gets when it comes to a major conference school on the highway over the course of the season. BYU, Nebraska, Illinois, Indiana, Minnesota. There's not a good team in the bunch. A couple of mediocre teams, mostly bad. And, of course, the current fifth-year seniors for the Badgers have been to the Big Ten title game twice already. And they've lost the Big Ten title game twice already. 0-2 straight up, 0-2 against the spread. I worry about the confidence for the Badgers in this one, although Paul Chris doesn't seem to worry about that issue at all for Wisconsin. Quote, no, each year it's a different team. I think you always draw on your experiences, but I think our but I think our team has great focus. They've had it all year long, and I believe they'll continue to have that. It's about this year, this moment. You wonder, you say, how do you beat Ohio State? How do you beat a team that's faster than you are all over the field on defense? Probably to run the ball up the gut. And that's something Wisconsin does really well. You just line up and run right at them. Jonathan Taylor, I mean, he's been remarkable this season. Over 1,800 rushing yards, seven yards per carry, 13 touchdowns. Wisconsin has had a lot of great running backs. Jonathan Taylor certainly has the potential to be at or near the top of that list. I'll be honest with you. This is a game I've gone back and forth with, back and forth with. I know I don't want Wisconsin. It's an Ohio State or pass game for me. I believe in the Buckeyes a lot more than I believe in the Badgers. But... Price isn't right here for me to get the window with Ohio State at three, at four. I think about it. Six and a half, seven. Probably game I'm going to pass on. One more big game breakdown coming up right here on Sportsbit. You don't want to miss it. What do we got? How about the Big 12? TCU and Oklahoma coming up next. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Don't touch that dial. You know the nonsense. Stick around here on Sportsbit. Betting Insight today from SBRPicks.com. 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.